Hello everyone and welcome to this video on rules of inference. So in this video we want to show using the rules of inference that capybaras can write from the following premises and I have the premises in red. So the first premise states that if fish can fly then birds can swim. The second premise states that if birds can swim then squirrels can talk. The third premise states that if birds can swim and squirrels can talk then capybaras can write. And the fourth premise states that fish can fly. So before we begin solving this problem, let's take a look to the right in the green rectangle. I have a rule of inference called the modus ponens rule. And it states that if P is true and P implies Q is true, then we can conclude that Q is also true. And we're going to use this rule to solve this problem. Okay, so now the first thing that we need to do is identify the propositions from the premises. So let's try to find our P proposition. So if we look at premise 1, it states that if fish can fly, then birds can swim. So P will be fish can fly. And also from that first premise, we get another proposition that I'm going to call Q. And that will be birds can swim. Okay. Next, we have our second premise, which states that if birds can swim, then squirrels can talk. So we already have birds can swim, but we don't have squirrels can talk. So R will be squirrels can talk. Okay, and let's take a look at our third premise, which states that if birds can swim and squirrels can talk, then copy bars can write. So we already have birds can swim. We already have squirrels can talk, but we don't have copy bars can write. So our next proposition will be S, and it will be capybaras can write. And then the last premise states that fish can fly, and we already have a proposition for fish can fly. Okay? So I'm going to use a little separator here, and I plan on rewriting the premise or the premises using the propositions. So let's look at premise one, which states that if fish can fly, then birds can swim. So we have if P, then Q, or P implies Q, because P is fish can fly, and Q is birds can swim. All right, let's take a look at our second premise, which states that if birds can swim, then squirrels can talk. So birds can swim, is Q, and this implies that squirrels can talk, which is R. And then we'll go to our third premise, which states that if birds can swim and squirrels can talk, then copy bars can write. So let's see, birds can swim is Q, and this is the symbol for and. Then we have squirrels can talk, which is R, and that implies copy bars can write. And copy bars can write is S. And then we get to our fourth premise, which states that fish can fly. So that's just P. And the problem wants us to show using the rules of inference that copy bars can write from the following premise or from those premises. So it wants us to conclude again that copy bars can write. So I'm going to put the three dots for therefore. Or for conclusion and we're gonna put s copy bars can write so this is what we want to show so I'm gonna put another separator line here and now we can build a valid argument which is a sequence of statements where each statement is either a premise or follows from previous statements and the last statement is the conclusion so in order to do this I'm gonna need two columns I'm gonna call the first column step or steps 
and then the second column will be called reasons okay now step will contain the statements and reasons will show how I came to the conclusion of the statement okay so for step number one I'm going to conclude that P is true so how did I conclude that well I got that from from premise number four okay alright so let's go to step two and in step two I'm going to conclude that P implies Q is true so where did I get that from I got that from premise one and then we'll go ahead and go to step three and put the three dots here, which means therefore or conclusion, Q is true. So how did I know that? Well, I knew that by using the modus ponens rule on step one and step two okay all right so let's go to step four and in step four I'm going to put Q implies R so I got that from premise two okay and let's go to step five and in step five we can conclude R and I got that by using the modus ponens rule on step three and step four okay all right, so next we're going to go to step six, and in step six, I'm going to put Q and R implies S. Okay, and I got that from premise three. And Step seven, I can make this conclusion that S is true. Okay? And you may say, well, okay, now how did you get that? Well, that's from step three, which concluded Q was true, and step five which concluded that R is true. So if Q and R is true, if Q and R is true, then S is true. Okay? So that is basically it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Uh, please let me know if I made any mistakes. And if you're not a subscriber to the channel already, please hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and please share it. Also, if you want to uh, support the channel, I will leave a link below in the description to my Patreon. So be sure to click that. And as always, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next video.